Hey there, this is Jerry Teeter from Legion LED Trucks and Legion Digital. And I just wanted to take a moment to uh, show you the behind the scenes of what our trucks, uh, the process they go through to get built, and why our trucks are so different than everything else out there on the marketplace. You know, I've been in this business for about five years, and the first truck that I purchased, I lost $100,000 on because A, I didn't know what I was doing. I was new to it. I didn't know what questions to ask and what uh, to look for. B, I got, uh, I found a really slick uh, salesman that sounded really good. He made me feel good about my purchase. I made a lot of mistakes. At the end of the day, he sold me a truck for 140 grand that was only worth truly about 40, and that's about what I sold it for a year later. During that year, it had massive problems. I lost business because of all the problems it had. I nearly lost my business the first year in because I made a huge mistake in who I trusted to buy my first truck from. And that truck was um, a hand put together truck on a cab over chassis. Um, I would show you a picture if I could, but it's, it's pretty hideous. And um, you know, you, it just really taught me that you have to be so careful in who you partner up with and trust. Um, you know, there's so many lessons I learned through that process. Um, one of them is uh, the person you're buying from, it, are they the business? Are they, uh, do they have a staff and, and a place of business where you can go to and you know, are they gonna be around for a while? The guy I bought from and many of the people that are out there are a one man show that work out of their home or apartment. They don't have manufacturer's insurance. They don't have an actual office with support staff. And so you don't know if they're gonna be around a year or two from now. And if they aren't around, your warranty goes away. Everything to do with that truck goes away and you are stuck in a very bad position. And so, you know, there's just so many things you have to look for when you're buying a truck. Um, most importantly also is the quality of the construction. And one of the big differences uh, at Legion that is different from us than most everybody is how we build our trucks. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around here. So this is a chassis that we are about to start building and you can see that there is nothing here. It's a cutaway chassis that uh, requires a body to be custom built and put on. Most people that are putting these trucks together, they're starting with a box delivery truck that's uh, just standard off the shelf. Those chassis tend to be very plain. Many of them don't even have power locks windows. You know, if they do, that's kind of the higher option for it. But these uh, delivery trucks are made to be work trucks and they're made to be beat to death. And when you're spending eight to 10 hours a day, all day, every day in these trucks, uh, you want something that's nice and that's gonna take care of your driver. And so as you can see here, you know, we, we start with just a raw chassis. Uh, this is a Ford Transit uh, with a diesel engine. And you know, over the years I've tried many different chassis and this is by far the most superior chassis that I have found that works for these trucks, okay? So to see what the finished product looks like, let's go down here and take a look here. This is our P5 16 foot LED truck. And this, uh, the truck we're building here, it's gonna be the same thing, but that one will only be 13 foot wide, but it will also be the P5 screen. And you can just see how amazing that screen looks. And as we get closer here, you're gonna see this body. Just see how clean the lines are. That's a high strength aluminum framing with full skirting along the bottom. And you can just see how nice it looks, okay? So a second ago, I was talking about the box delivery trucks, and I wanna take you down here. This is one of the early trucks that I bought, and this is gonna be pretty typical of what you're gonna see out there. Um, the guys that are selling these types of trucks here are generally selling them new for between 120 to 150,000. But they're just not nearly as good as what we're building. You know, it's an okay truck uh, for a lower end price, but the problem I have with them is these boxes. Okay, these corners, it's a very thin, you can see, I don't know if you can see the thickness of that, but it's a very thin aluminum cap. You know, the front is a thin aluminum with some plywood behind it. Um, a lot of the people out there putting these trucks together do not put a skirting along the bottom. And so, you know, the bottom of your screen right here this skirting is not there on some of them. If you look at the pictures, it's just an open frame. It looks terrible. And for just a few hundred extra dollars, 
they could add some skirting to it to just really clean it up, but they, they choose not to because a lot of these guys are just trying to build it as cheap as possible. They cut corners and it, it looks okay on day one out of the gate, but they don't last over time. And so, you know, these screens, a set of screens for one of these trucks weighs over 2,000 pounds, closer to 2,500. And the structure of these delivery truck bodies are just not made to handle that kind of weight securely. And so, you know, sometimes they have to reinforce the insides. That, from an aesthetic standpoint, it, uh, it just looks like it inside. And I'll show you in a second what the inside of our truck looks like. And there's nothing out there that compares to it. So that's the box delivery truck model. And then we're going to come back here and compare it again to the Legion. You know, again, you can see it's just really clean. You don't have rivets or bolts sticking out. Everything is just nice and clean. This truck here is a year old. It's got almost 20,000 miles on it, and it still looks brand new. Okay, so now let's take a look at the inside of the box here. Now this is, of all the trucks I've ever seen out there, and I've seen dozens and dozens of them, I have yet to see a truck that has this level of finish work inside the body. And my opinion is, if you're going to finish out what people don't see and do a good job behind the scenes, then the whole thing is going to be good. If you're cutting corners and leaving the inside where people don't see it, then that's just a sign of what else is out there. You can see our equipment is all professionally mounted. We have a media player that can be controlled remotely online from anywhere that you have internet access. Now uh, we have a commercial grade hotspot so you can have internet in your truck no matter where you go. Um, we vent out our generator out the top with a full um, breaker system for the screens. And then this generator is an ultra quiet 20 kilowatt generator. One of the big issues that we had to overcome and every single truck I have ever been in from any manufacturer, the amount of generator noise in the cab is always a big problem. And we've been able to reduce the cab noise by over 20 decibels uh, through our engineering and the way uh, this particular generator that we've chosen. And so inside the cab, you barely, you don't even hardly hear the generator running at all. In a lot of other trucks, that low hum of the generator and the vibrations through the cab after eight hours can drive you nuts. And that's something that you're not going to know about until you've already spent well over six figures, you've got the truck, and you're running it, and you have nothing you can do about it. Okay, so that's just one of many differences. As we come up here to the cab, let me shut this off here. So we custom order these trucks from Ford, and uh, they're they're much nicer than your standard commercial grade truck. You know, we start with electric heated leather seats on both sides. We upgrade the instrument panel to the higher level cluster. Uh, you get uh, touchscreen navigation with the Ford Sync. You're getting the upgraded console with the integrated trailer brake. Uh, you get USB ports, uh, power supply. Uh, there's a power outlet down there. These trucks are top of the line transits and they're custom ordered from Ford. That is one thing, again, you're not getting with anybody else. They're just looking. When you uh, place an order with them, they're going out to the dealerships and trying to find something that's in stock somewhere, and then they're just uh, modifying that from there. Now, this is where the huge differences really come in. We've designed this truck to be completely controlled from the driver's seat or from your office. And so uh, we've got a computer, uh, it's a commercial grade computer with solid state hard drives. You've got a controller, you got an audio system that you can also uh, plug in your gaming system, your satellite dishes, anything with an HDMI source, you can plug right in here and it will scale it out to the screens and then a computer monitor. And then like I mentioned earlier, there's also a media player in the back that can be controlled 
uh, from your office with whatever content. That's what we use 90% of the time, but this computer is really nice for just quick uh, things like this where you wanna uh, just put something quick on the screen or if you're alternating back between back and forth between different types of content. Um, again, of all the trucks out there I've seen, we're really the only one that gives you both options. Uh, most trucks either have a media player or they have a local laptop computer, but I have yet really to see anybody that offers both options. And so uh, that's one of the, another big difference you get here. Um, you know, I could go on for an hour here of all the different uh, differences. Um, well, you, you can see the cord there. You know, we set this up to have shore power so you can plug it in and run the screens without the generator uh, for different types of events. But, you know, again, I could go on and on about the differences here. These are some of the major ones. And I just wanted to really give you a quick behind the scenes look before this truck heads off to the shop. Yeah, here in about four to five weeks, it's gonna be a completed truck and I'll probably do some videos on it when it's done. So if you have any questions, please go to ledtrucks.info. You can put in your uh, email address and I will send you a white paper that I've written on many of the things that I've talked about and some, uh, some stuff that I haven't in how to buy your truck without getting taken advantage of. Uh, there's also a video there that I talk about my first experience of buying a truck uh, and losing $100,000 on it and how you can avoid doing the same. And so go check out the information. If you have any other questions after you've watched that, uh, feel free to contact me and I would be happy to answer your questions. Again, this is Jerry Teeter, Legion LED Trucks. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.